Hair grease has been a staple in the Black hair care community for about a century. But as opposed to giving my money to companies that are not owned by people that look like me, I'm going to teach you how you can make your very own hair grease or hair pomade using much better ingredients. This is what my hair looks like with my hair pomade applied generously. So if you like what you see, please stay tuned and let's not waste any time. Hey Z stars, what's good in the proverbial hood? Yo. <laughs> so of course I'm back with another video. I'm Zara, lovingly, popularly, affectionately known as Epic Zara. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an incredible hair pomade or hair grease using really impeccable ingredients that you can purchase and are readily available to you. You don't have to pay your money to companies of people that don't look like you any longer because you can do this in the comfort of your home. So I don't want to waste your time. Let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, I'm going to tell you to do the four simple things I always tell you to do. Please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think is going to be the primary ingredient in this recipe. Please share this video with your friends and loved ones and anyone who's suffering from chronic hair dryness. Last but never can be least, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Okay, let's get into it. And don't skip those ads so I can keep these videos sustainable because I need to get paid too, guys. Okay, love you. Let's go. And now we're getting ready to make our cloves pomade. Can you see that beautiful texture? So first things first, we're going in with our beeswax, which is an incredible humectant. It's also brilliantly occlusive. So whilst it's protecting your hair from the elements, it's also drying water and keeping your hair hydrated. Next, we're going in with our yellow sulfur powder. Now I added this because I also like to use this pomade on my edges. Next is our petrolatum, which is one of my favorite ingredients, of course, and my favorite occlusive period because hair grease is hair piece. And then lanolin, another brilliant occlusive, and it's actually sheep sebum, <laughs> technically. This is one of my favorite ingredients and really one of the undersung heroes of the natural hair community. Now, of course, we're getting out my trusty Westy double boiler and melting down all of these ingredients. And of course, like I said in my previous video, which is linked in the top right corner, the sulfur just sinks to the bottom. The molecular weight is too high. It's not micronized, but that's okay. Now, I know I did not go over many of the ingredients in this video. That's because I have a myriad of other videos that talk about all of the things present in this formula. So be sure to check those out because I'm going to link them in the playlist to the top right corner. Now we're going to add our infused castor oil, which of course is in my previous video, which I've already linked in the top right corner for y'all. Next, our mineral oil. And then our vitamin E oil. Now essential oils are optional. If you wanna add essential oils, you could add them at about 10 grams or so. Now we're just going to pour this into my glass vessel, my really cute little container, and we're gonna like pop it in the freezer so it cools a bit faster. Now I did let it cool down quite a bit before popping it in there, but as you can see, this is a fully solid pomade. Fantastic, Whew. that was quite the process, you know. It was filled with some uncertainty, some bumps, but we came out on top. So now that we've created this beautiful formula, let's get right into the application. 
Now, if you haven't already noticed, every recipe that I'm using in this particular video is actually from my recipe Bible, my award-winning recipe Bible, period. Of course, that's going to be linked in the top right corner in the description box down below. Now, it's a labor of love and I've put everything that I've learned over the more than 13 years of my natural hair journey. Here are some comments from people who've already made use of the recipe Bible, of course, over here, over there, over here, some over here, so that you all can get an idea of what exactly it can do for you. Now again, it's going to be linked to the top right corner and the description box down below. I've been natural now for over a decade and a half. And pretty much as soon as I started my journey, I was making products for myself and for my loved ones. Those many years of perfected formulas have been compiled into this comprehensive book just for you. So if you want to take your hair care journey to the next level, if you want to experience unparalleled growth and ease along your journey, then please be sure to check out my recipe Bible, which of course, again, is going to be linked in the top right corner and the description box down below. These are indeed the recipes I've used to grow, thicken, strengthen, and completely nourish my hair. Don't forget to let me know how your journey goes in the comments down below with my recipe Bible. Awesome, so let's get into the application of my phenomenal pomade. So of course, here's a shot of it. And what you're going to do is you're going to apply it to the ends of your hair. I apply it very generously to prevent single strand knots and to keep my ends, which are the oldest part of my hair, super duper moisturized. Now, of course, because they do have hydrators, aka humectants, they're also lending to hydration. But this is the definition after application. So I know that was super straightforward. Did you enjoy it? Cause I know I did. And now that we've witnessed the application, here is our final look. Now, in case y'all are wondering about these twists, I have a video all about that and it's gonna be linked in the top right corner. I'm sure you recognize these shots from that video if you've already seen it, as well as my previous video, which is also linked in the top right corner in that playlist I mentioned earlier. Well, once again, we've made it to the end of the road. I'm so grateful that you embarked on this journey with me. If you've made it this far, you know what to do. If you've been here, obviously, you know it's to drop some blue emojis in the comment section down below. And then of course, do these things once more for me. Thumbs up, comment, share with me, talk to me. Did you enjoy this video? Be sure to share this with your friends and your loved ones. And of course, subscribe y'all. So you know when I post videos. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I hope through this pomade, changes your life the way this changed mine because period <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video god bless you